This is an MOU between the two departments. Um, we, we are um, reaching out to the Department of Public Works and they've come to the answer to provide the bus drivers and the fuel cost for the leased buses. No interruption then? No interruption. Certainly the, the dates that they've extended this to, we may be looking at up till December or perhaps January if these facilities are not fully completed. So we will be working on amending our MOU agreement in terms of the amount of money they need to forward to us uh, and then also the timeline, extending the timeline for the agreement. Because on average, so far we're looking at since school year started in August, over $100,000 has been expended just on fuel costs, around 15000 or so, uh, a little over 86000 just for the man, additional man hours and overtime that have to be paid to the bus drivers to accommodate the double session. Where's that money coming from? Well, the, the payment of that, so far D, it's come out of D, DPW operations and it's not a good situation for us because uh, we were short in terms of appropriation the last month of the fiscal year. Uh, the governor's assisted in us to ensure that payroll is met. Uh, however, we will be invoicing DOE fairly shortly so that they can pay those funds back into the department uh, and then also work forward so that uh, they can ensure they have the additional funding that's needed.